Hello, I'm Sean, the Senior Support Technician here at Simply Nook. Today I'm going to be walking you through some preventative maintenance tips. We are going to begin with cleaning the dust out of our Beast Canyon unit. So we have our Beast Canyon unit here, very similar to the Dragon Canyon, so cleaning will be the exact same. With this unit here, you're going to loosen these four screws. You are going to slide the top piece up and you're going to pull out. There is one screw here that we will loosen up so that way we can slide these panels out. We will lift up on this side of the fan assembly, exposing the insides. You will take our canned air. Now, since we have removed the vents, we can go ahead and blow these out to make sure that there's no buildup. Uh, that way we get free flowing air out of all of these and you can just do it from the outside in. Once those are done, we can do this one in parts. We'll go through the fan assembly first. We're going to go out at an angle here. I'm blowing in from the fan here. It's going to blow out the top here because we have vents all along this top side. Once we've cleaned the top fan assembly, we will come down to the board below. You can remove these Molex connectors here or just kind of scooch them out of the way to make it getting to the PCB a little bit easier. And we're going to blow from the bottom out. We're going to make sure we get our power supply here. And if you can't see, I'm blowing kind of in the crevice here of the power supply in the chassis to make sure we get all the debris out of there as well. Now for the element, you will want to remove this fan housing here for ventilation. Exposing the element. There's two screws at the top that you will want to unscrew. And we're going to lift up on this and pull outwards. All right, exposing the insides, the fan housing. And we're going to take our canned air and we're going to come in from the bottom here. And we're going to try to blow underneath this panel of thermal pads here so that way we can get to the fan. Once we have the fan housing cleaned, we can blow out the insides. I like to turn it sideways a little bit here. Blowing at the top here gets the dust and debris out of the heat sink. Once you got all that, you will button everything back up. And you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And thank you again for choosing Simply Nook.